Welcome to OneWordBytes.com. In this video, we are going to see about JSON Web Signature. This is the continuation of the last video. In the last video, we have seen about JSON Web Token. This video is going to explain about the specification of the JSON Web Signature and how it is going to be used to sign the JSON Web Token. So what is JWS? JWS means like JSON Web Signature and it represents the digitally signed or mapped content using a JSON data structure and, and it is base U, and it is encoded in the base URL. Okay. This is the process of JWS where header and payload are encoded separately and, can, and it gets signed and, and it gets signed with the JWA that is like JSON Web Algorithms to get a signature. After signing we will uh, like it get concatenated like header dot payload dot signature and send it over the wire if you want to understand the structure of the jwt please see the last video in this series jw specification explains two types of serialization one is compact another one is a json serialization but the compact uh, serialization is used to represent the digitally signed mac content as a content and compact and it is a url shape string base64 encoding of utf8 protected header dot base64 encoded of jws payload base64 encode of jws signature while the json serialization is not neither optimized for compactness or not url safe that is the difference between the json serialization and the compact serialization jws come up with a few registered headers like alg jwk jku KID, X5U, X5C, X5T, X5T SHA, 256TYP, and CTY. All these headers are explained brief, briefly in the RFSC of this JWS. I have provided a specification link in the in the JWS uh, tutorial uh, in 100bytes.com. I uh, the the tutorial for that link is provided in the below this video. I'll give briefly about all these headers. ALG means like algorithm used for signing. JWK is like a JSON web key, which is representation of a public key which used for sign a JWT token. JK is like a JSON key URL, where it refers to the resource of a set of a JSON encoded public key. KID is a key ID. X5U is like X509 URL, where it is refers to resources where the certificate is exposed. X5C is a representation is an entry for the x509 certificate x5t is like x509 uh, sha1 thumbprint x5t sha256 is related to it's similar to x5t but it is with sha256 typ is a type of the uh, jwt token and the content type is uh, cty is a content type which is used to declare the media applications and etc Though JWS supports digital signature as well as Mac, uh, as for me, like digital signature is a better option than Mac. Digital signature is like sign the uh, sign the JWT token with the private key of a sender, and the receiver verifies the signature with the public key of the sender. In this case, he can, sender can safely secure the private key and uh, send the public key to everyone. But in the Mac, but with the Mac. The both sender and receiver should have the same key for sending, for signing, and the verification. Now I will explain how to generate the JWT token, sign it, and how to verify it in the server uh, receiver send. So for this tutorial, I am using a library. Jo uh, for this tutorial, I am using a JOS library 0.4.1. Okay. This program explains how to generate the JWT token, sign it in the sender side and verify it in the receiver side. Assume that uh, this part of the code is in the sender side and uh, here's, uh, here after the 50, uh, the token is sent over the wire and in the receiver send it get verified. Okay, So here this part of the code is to generate the claims which is already I uh, have explained in the last video and now we will see about the signing so here i'm going uh, for signing i'm going to use a two, 2048 bits of rsa key and algorithm i'm going to use like rsa use uh, with sha256 so first we have to create a json web signature before that you, ha you have to generate the rsa key uh, like this uh, jaws library has provided the uh, api to generate that uh, rsa key and it requires minimum of 2048 bit you can't use the 1024 bit rsa key here once the uh, json web signature object is created you have to set the private key as in the sender send it has to be private key if you pass the public key it will not this api will not accept once you set it, you have to set the algorithm. Uh, 
okay we are we are everything is set but we have to set the uh, claims uh, payload to so the play, payload is claims to to json so here what is claims claims is whatever we create uh, we created in the in the top of this program that is all this admin ca all those things will form as a part of the uh, claims so that is passed as a payload of the uh, that is passed as a payload for the json web signature where this payload is signed using algorithm rsa sha256 with r2048 bit rsa key so that get done by this this api uh, like get compact serialization that means i'm using a compact serialization for this example and i'm printing the sign jwt and here i'm uh, this for uh, for this explanation purpose i'm printing the public key and private key as well okay this is the sender side so uh, this is sign jwt once it is signed you can send it across the wire and the receiver send they will receive the sign jwt and it verified Okay, before verification of the signed JWT, you have to build the consumer. So here the consumer, what we are expecting is uh, expecting the audience is like admins and issuer is CA and we need a subject. Okay. For the verification, you have to set the public key of the sender. So here we, are, we have assumed like uh, the sender has sent the public key to the receiver send as well. So this guy, uh, like you see, like I'm using the same object JSON sign key. So, so assume like the sender has sent, already sent a public key to the receiver send. So I'm using a JSON sign key that get public key. Here you can't pass the private key. This VAP won't accept. Once it is all this thing uh, is set, you have to build. So the consumer is built. After consumer is built, you have to process the claims by passing the sign JWT. So here we assume that this uh, the sign JWT token is received over the wire. Once it received, like you will process it and you will get the received claims. We will uh, we will it get printed here. Okay, let's run this program now. Run as Java application. Okay. It get complete. So this is a sender send audience admins expiration and all those things are there. And in the and in the receiver, this is signed JWT. After after this, this is get sent over the wire. Okay. So here public key and private key are printed for the testing purpose. And um, okay this is under re re receiver send that means success means like our verification of the uh, token is a success and uh, claims which we which you receive from the sender sentence like this admins and all those things let me format this in the json format so so you see here so the admins issuer is ca and the country email my hobbies all those things are get printed so that means the claims is received successfully this is the way we have to generate this json web token and sign it uh, in the next video we are going to see how to encrypt the json web token thank you for more tutorials please visit 100bytes.com